All right, let's look at these um, conceptual problems. So we have two positive charges, one with the charge of plus four Q and the other with the charge of positive Q are separated by distance R, which of the following statement is true. The greater the charge exerts a larger force on the smaller charge. The greater charge exerts a smaller force on the, on the smaller charge. Both charges experience the same force in opposite direction. Both charges experience the same force in the same direction. What we should know is that the force of electricity that they were gonna feel, there's gonna be a force of electricity going this way and a force of electricity going this way. It's opposite direction because they're repelling against each other. And what we should know is these two are gonna be exactly the same numbers. We know that the force of electricity is KQ1, Q2 over R squared. So it doesn't, in this case, if you made this Q1 and this one Q2, or if you made this one Q2 or Q1 and this made Q2, you're gonna get the same answer. So you should know that the force of electricity is gonna be both uh, the same and they're going in opposite directions, okay? And that's Newton's third law, it's equal but opposite. Let's look at this next question. Two positive charges are separated by a distance r. The charges repel each other with the force F. If the magnitude of each charge doubled, what is the new force between the charges? Okay, so how we wanna look at this question is we wanna look at this formula here. Force of electricity is equal to KQ1, Q2 over R squared. What we're gonna notice about this equation is this Q is going to change by a factor of two. And we know this Q is also doubled, so this is gonna change by a factor of two. What we're gonna notice is this side over here is gonna change by a factor of four, which means this side over here has to change by a factor of four. So the force of electricity is equal to four F, okay? This is a very common question, so make sure you know how to do that. Whether it's here, whatever this side changed by, this other side has to change by the same amount, okay? All right, let's look at this example. Two positive charges, A and B, are placed at corners of an equilateral triangle. What is the direction of the net electric force on charge negative Q? Okay, so what you should know is, let's make this, put this one black. This one is gonna attract this one going in this direction like that, okay? And this is, uh, well now we're gonna look at this one. This one is gonna be attracting this negative charge this way. So what we should know is in the X direction, they're gonna be canceling out with one another because this one's gonna be pulling to the left and this one's gonna be pulling to the right and that's gonna cancel out. However, their downward isn't gonna cancel out, it's gonna to add together. So it's gonna look something like this. This is the net, uh, the net force. Okay, it's gonna look something like this, a com combination of this and this in the Y direction, okay? So what we have is we have B. All right, let's look at this example. P is at a point near a negatively charged sphere. Which vector best represents the direction of the electric field? So what we should know about electric fields for, um, for negative charged iron is that it's pointed inwards. So if it's pointed inwards, at this point P, it's gonna be pointed to the left just like that. So this is also B. All right, let's look at our last one. Two identical charges, A and B, have a positive charge. Which arrow best represents the direction of the resultant electric field at point P? So again, what we should know is that they're gonna be pointed outwards like this for positive charges. And since this is diagonal, that means this one is going to be pointing it this way. And maybe I'll do this one in red. So this one in red. And this one is gonna be going pointing it at this way for the electric field. Again, the left and right are gonna cancel each other out, and the net electric field is just gonna be going straight up like this. So the answer for this one is A. All right, thanks for watching.